So there's this, there's this weird thing about Indiana and music. And it's, it's just, oh, I should probably take this off. COVID, baby. So there's this weird thing about Indiana and music where Indiana's just been a part of truly transformative music in American history. I mean, you know, Michael Jackson, he's from Indiana, which is weird. He's the king of pop. Axl Rose, he's from Lafayette. I went and saw his little childhood home. It's like a one one bedroom house. He's from Lafayette. He's from Indiana. And then Cole Porter, he was this Broadway show writer from the 20s and 30s and 40s. And he's like wacky famous. Scrapper Blackwell, he lived in Indianapolis most of his life, so I'm claiming it. And uh, he's the guy that Eric Clapton and Bob Dylan point to. Like, if you want to find the real stuff, you go look up Scrapper Blackwell. So, there's this there's this laundry list of artists who were born and raised or lived most of their lives in Indiana that had just a wacky impact on American music. And then there's Jeanette Records, which is a little record label in a piano factory in Richmond, Indiana in the 20s. And it records the first real jazz played by jazz musicians. Now, there had been some, like, white bands who were studio musicians that somebody had given given written music and said, go play jazz. But that ain't exactly... That ain't exactly jazz. You know what I mean? Those guys couldn't swing. But the, the first real jazz musicians playing jazz, they recorded it at Jeanette Records in Richmond. And then the first blues musicians, they recorded at Jeanette Records in Richmond. And then the first country musicians, they recorded in Richmond, Indiana. So there's like this 13-year stretch where Richmond, Indiana records the most transformative music in the world's history. And that's just so weird on its own. And then it turns out the Chitlin Circuit, which is the birthplace of rock and roll. Like, people talk a lot about rock and roll. Rock and roll started on the Chitlin Circuit. And that started on Indiana Avenue in Indianapolis. So, Indiana has had this really strange impact on American music historically. And and that's just so odd and intriguing to me that I'm I'm super interested. I got a stack of books. I got a stack of biographies. And uh I'm going to read them and tell you about them in this series so that you don't have to read them because some of them aren't fun to read. And uh, I'm going to learn songs by Indiana kids for the next year or so. See what I can learn about music from those guys. And I can already tell you, Colt Porter wrote some good music. Like, I've learned a couple of his songs there. Awesome. They're just so good. So, So that's where I'm at. This is the beginning. And... I don't have any idea where it's going, but uh, we'll find out together, right? Pretty lady with your high heels on You give me 
you feelings like I've never, ever known. You're just a product of loveliness. I like the groove of your walk, your talk, your dress. I feel you fever for miles around. Pick you up in my car and we'll paint the town. Just kiss me, baby, and tell me twice that you're the one for me, the way you make me feel. You really turn me on. You knock me off of my feet now, baby. My lonely days are gone. I like the feeling you're giving me. Just hold me, baby, and I'm in ecstasy. I'll be working that nine to five to buy you things to keep you by my side. I've never felt so in love before. Just promise, baby, you'll love me forevermore just to keep you satisfied. Cause you're the one for me, the way you make me feel. You really turn me on. You knock me off of my feet now, baby. My lonely days are gone.